Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we turn to talking about the United States election season and our voting process, which is about to take place in November, just about a month from now. That's right, we're getting ready to vote here in America, and there's been a lot going on specifically regarding the voting process. Lots of Democrats have first pushed for mail-in voting because they think that'll help them and give them a way to have an advantage here for probably nefarious reason, which is going to be confirmed by some information we're about to go over. What we're going over today is an investigative report from James O'Keefe. He works at Project Veritas, and they've exposed some pretty bad scandals like this in the past. They've had undercover recordings and interviews with staffers from certain bad companies, like for example, one time they were outing CNN and Facebook for being biased and you know favoring certain political parties over another. Stuff like that has come out through the Project Veritas news company, and today is no different. Today is a pretty brief breaking, pretty groundbreaking story about one certain congresswoman from Minnesota named Ilhan Omar, who has likely been buying votes. That's right. She's been connected to a harvesting scheme where they have caught and video evidence of people paying money to buy some of these votes. These vote by mail things are going around right now. People are pushing for that. The Democrats want more ballots to be mailed out. That way they can buy them, put the Biden name on them and get more votes for their party. It's not just Biden running for election either. There's a lot of Democrats running for re-election. There's a lot of things being voted on this November. So we're going to talk more about this Ilhan Omar harvesting story. We're going to get to the videos and the articles real soon. But first, let's take a quick moment to check out our sponsor. Today, I'm real excited to offer you guys this 2020 Battle for the White House historic and limited time only chess set. That's right. We're talking about chess today. And this set is awesome. It's based on this U.S. election. It's got the king figures being Donald Trump and Joe Biden and other figures are represented too. You've got Kamala Harris. You've got Chief Justice John Roberts, Mike Pence, George W. Bush, Democrats, Republicans. It's a very topical, very funny, very cute chess set that can be yours today. If you check out our link below today's video, you could get this special offer for a very good deal too. You get free shipping and you can also upgrade to a double offer if you're interested in an extra set for a friend or family member or maybe for a gift. Christmas is coming up not too far from now, but I think it's a great offer and you guys should consider it. If you're interested, click the link below this video. Enjoy the 2020 chess set and now let's get back to the show. Great. Now that that's out of the way, let's turn to Twitter. James O'Keefe is tweeting here. His video has 3.4 million views. That's pretty darn impressive and it's deserved because he's basically exposed Ilhan Omar, which is really bad because Omar has had lots of illegal things come up about her. She's been alleged to have married her brother to get him immigrated, like committed immigration fraud. She's embezzled money through her new husband and lover who she was cheating and having an affair with. And now her campaign is giving him hundreds of thousands of dollars, which indirectly go to her and her family too. So there's been a lot of illegal things in Ilhan's past. And this is another one of them. This is another sign. I can't believe she's still in office. It's pretty crazy, but we're going to see how bad this gets. The tweet says, Omar connected harvester seen exchanging $200 for general election ballot. We don't care. Illegal. We are taking the money and we'll vote for you. Ilhan is one who came up with all this. So that's some quotes from the video. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see what it says. The tape you're about to see shows a man buying a registration form for an absentee ballot from a voter, giving him, quote, pocket money, unquote, of $200 and expecting to collect his ballot when the voter receives it. Okay, so they're talking about the person is caught on tape, cash for the ballot. He's giving them instructions on what to fill out. I think essentially they're going to have them fill out these ballots and then not vote. Just like fill out your name and your number and your whatever, your information, your address. And then they'll buy the ballot and fill in the votes that they want, like Biden and whoever else. There could be votes in certain areas depending on where they are for representatives and local elections and stuff like that. And apparently 
apparently somehow this is connected to Ilhan Omar. Ilhan Omar has had shady stuff in her past before. We've seen it. We've covered it. It's a really bad sign. And it comes from the left, the corrupt left. I mean, they've been proven to be these sort of liars and fraudsters before. People suspected this might be happening with them recommending this mail by voting. We've already uncovered chances of it getting tampered with before. We had a story last week where we caught people in Pennsylvania throwing out votes. All these Trump votes got thrown out. They were actually military votes. So that's another bad sign. And now we have this other bad sign coming from this video. <laughs> So they appear to be speaking some other language. I can't really tell what it is, but they have a translator here. They have the very toss cut in here. You saw the guy reporting that was James O'Keefe. And yeah, they're calling it pocket money, but they're essentially giving cash for ballots. This is what they sometimes call ballot harvesting. That's what this says here. That's just like harvesting ballots, like you're growing plants. They call it that because you're kind of like drawing them in. You got to find a way to get the ballots and, you know, communicate with people and, you know, set up this whole intricate system that is highly illegal. It's definitely fraud and election tampering. And it's not a good look for the left, especially going into this a month ahead of this big, big controversial election. But that's illegal. Why? You don't care illegal. I have the ILC. One of them. How much ILC? It's good one. Our investigation has exposed a pay-to-vote scheme in Minnesota. It looks like Congresswoman Ilhan Omar may be connected. So it's still pending. We're still getting details and figuring it out. But again, it's not surprising. This is a, a foreign immigrant from a shady place coming here, talking about openly destroying America. She wants to dismantle our systems, give everyone free stuff. Like she's not a good actor. You know, we've seen how she acts in the public. You know, not all this stuff is illegal. Some of it's border line, you know, treasonous. You want to destroy the country that you fled to? Like, she fled Africa, came to America, because obviously it's better. She had a good home in Minnesota, set up her family there and stuff, and now she wants to destroy this country. She wants to dismantle our systems. She said this openly, and someone that thinks like that, it, it just makes sense that they're not going to respect the voting process. Like, why would she respect it if she doesn't respect the country? She doesn't respect what's going on here. Then, of course, she's going to be more inclined to cheat, to break the law, to not respect the law. She's also anti-law enforcement. She goes against the cops every day of the week. I mean, all this stuff leads to someone who would commit these crimes, who would cheat, who would do whatever it takes. And that's why it's not a big leap. And then now we have more evidence to connect her to it. She's the one who came up with all this. So she did it. She yeah. started this whole thing with yeah. the, the pay to vote. Yeah. I so the people that work for Ilhan are actually counting the ballots, counting the vote. And they become a manager in the prison too. So there's witnesses, a former staffer, another guy talking in an interview, pointing out Ilhan, saying that she's counting them, she's paying for them. I mean, this is pretty good. This is pretty damning. I mean, it would at least warrant further investigation. Like we said, we got to tiptoe a little bit. We know we're not confirmed here. We're not actually, you know, there's no trial or charges yet as far as I know, but I certainly would hope there's something being investigated. I think they already announced that. We'll see if it goes any further. And then right here, it says, if you don't have an absentee ballot, the ballot harvesters vote for you in the polling booths under the guise of being translators. So they're using the translator gimmick. This is another way they could steal votes. Translators are typically allowed in official capacity. Like if you can't read a certain language, you can have a translator help you vote. But this is them masquerading as that as a way to just take the person's identity and vote for who they want with that identity. They walk with you to the booth, and then they vote, oh, vote this guy, vote this guy, vote this guy. Vote even if you speak English. 
So this looks like they're paying someone close to Al Qaeda. This is another thing worth bringing up because we've seen the kind of insensitiveness of Ilhan regarding these foreign terrorists who have attacked America, killed many thousands of us in our homeland with attacks like, you know, the terrible one that happened in New York City back in 2001. We've also warred with them in the Middle East for decades. But the point that I want to bring up here is there was one interview clip. We've gone over it before in the past where basically Ilhan Omar brushes over 9-11. She says, oh, there were some people that did something. Trying to just like not talk it down, not say, oh, this was a terrible tragedy. Thousands of people died. It was a terrorist attack. It was religiously fueled. All this other bad stuff. She just plays it down as some people doing something. So it just shows that she's not willing to call out her fellow Muslims, especially these terrorist ones who are terrorizing America, killing people here and there. And if she's willing to do that, she's willing to look the other way. I mean, it definitely goes to show she might pay them off or, you know, work with them or do something with them. You know, you never know with someone like that. <laughs> Sources say Ilhan Omar's biggest financier is behind her pay-for-vote scheme and is pulling strings to defund Israel. So that's another source of contention here. There's lots of context, lots of moving parts. Luckily, we can pause and break things down. And what I want to point out here is the anti-Israel thing. All the Democrats right now are very, very anti-Israel. They're not the biggest fans of Jews right now, which is strange because Jews do typically tend to lean left wing. And there's a lot of Jews in Hollywood and stuff too. But there are many concerns conservative ones as well. We've got the Ben Shapiro's and other ones out there too. But the point is the current trend is anti-Israel in the Democratic Party. Most of the far leftists hate Israel. They say stuff like they want to wipe it off the map and stuff like that. We have literal quotes of far left YouTubers saying they want to wipe Israel off the map, but that's okay. They're allowed to bash countries they don't like. They're allowed to take out and say they want to wipe out this big Jewish state, like the main homeland for the Jews. And that's just what's showing their double standard. Standard, and it's showing Ilhan's connected to this. She is the opposing religion to the Jewish people. In addition, she has talked badly about Israel, which they really shouldn't. Israel is a great ally. The Jewish people are very strong, resilient, and very good Americans. There's a lot of great American Jews, and we support them and Israel and all those other people. We're an open, fair country who isn't about like having these religious battles. The reason she's fighting for Palestine is because of this. Guy. So it's all about money and power, and, and, and they want her to be like, defend Israel. Money. For anyone who pays to vote, these are the laws. So they're going over some of the details and the laws that are probably possibly broken. This one says, the federal laws 18 USC are quite clear. In the case of 18 USC, it is punishable by up two years in prison. And in the case of 52 USC, it's punishable by up to $10,000 in fines and up to five years in prison. The Minnesota statute prohibits paying a person or receiving money to register to vote or to vote. This is a state felony punishable by more than one year imprisonment. So not necessarily the biggest punishments, but certainly something, certainly for just voting, you know, like taking someone's vote, you're not necessarily like destroying property or hurting someone or something physical, but it is significant and it is a way to corrupt the system. And, you know, these punishments need to be doled out. They need to show that the Democrats can't steal this. They need to stop them in their tracks and put a clamp down on this right away because clearly the left is trying their bestest. They know they don't have a good chance this year of winning much of anything. So they have to cheat. That's why they push for mail-ins. That's why they're now buying votes and telling people they're translators when they're not. Ilhan Omar appears to be connected. Hopefully she gets her comeuppance and hopefully people start waking up to this bad story. That about wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe if you're new and hit the bell for notifications too. Until next time, have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow.